Impress your friends with this surprise inside Buzz Lightyear rocket ship cake. When you cut in, you'll see a galaxy space cake. Hey sugar, if you're new to my channel, I'm Rox of Rockstar Bakes and my passion is helping people make sweet treats. Mm. Today I'll demonstrate one, how I bake this galaxy surprise inside cake. Two, how I cake carve a rocket ship. Three, how I decorate a cake so it is Buzz Lightyear inspired. To infinity and beyond. Don't overmix the batter because we'll keep mixing as we add the color. I use my favorite vanilla cake and split it into seven bowls to color. The recipe is linked below. I'm adding my gel paste food color. Remember that when you're coloring the cake batter, it's way easier to add than remove, so be conservative. Today's surprise will include stars, so make a little bit more of the yellow cake batter. I love rainbows, so I opted for less accurate, more colorful planet colors. Mix, mix, mix the colors. There's no way you can go wrong with more colors for this project. In my last surprise inside cake, I used cake molds for the planets. In this project, I am going to use a cake pop maker that I found on Amazon for $11. Every once in a while, I am going to wipe the inside of the cake pop maker with some oil. Here's a sample of what the planet looks like from the test. The inside is nice and bright. It is not gonna matter what it looks like on the outside. You'll see why in a second. Pour that batter into the heated cake pop maker. Make sure you latch the outside or it starts to open as it expands. Earlier, I mentioned making more yellow cake batter. I bake this in a separate cake tray according to the recipe. Here is the baked yellow cake that I used to cut the stars. Now, remove the cake from the tray. I chop off the dome so that I can make the star stacking really tight. I try a couple of different cookie cutters, but this size feels right to me. Get out as many stars as possible. If you want, using a yellow colored cupcake works just fine too. I want the stars and the planets to be about the same size because there isn't enough space, like the space, not the planets. To make the galaxy space cake batter, I use my black cocoa cake so I don't have to use any more food coloring. You can find the classic and gluten-free versions in the description below. Now add a little bit of the space cake batter to a lined quarter sheet cake and spread it around. Tip, for sharp edges, fill in those corners and edges. The batter distribution doesn't need to be perfect each time, just eyeball it. I'll trim the planets to clean them up. To get a great solar system, use all of the planets. All of the pre-baked pieces will not expand. It's kind of like Tetris because you want to build a line. Fill in some more batter. This is a great option for kids who love chocolate and it makes your whole house smell like Oreos more and more planets. Get out those stubborn bubbles by banging the cake pan. Add more of the black cocoa cake batter. Repeat steps until pan is full. Top off the cake with half planets with the flat sides up. Don't waste any batter. I level the batter by spreading it out as evenly as possible. For the last time, bang the cake pan to get out any of those stubborn evil alien Zerg bubbles. Pew pew! Ooh, the claw is what you'll need to lift this mega heavy cake pan. Following the recipe, once it's baked, it'll be a little lighter. Let the cake cool completely for assembly. Part two, cake carving. I make a rocket ship template out of parchment paper to help guide me. So you have the best view, I can't exactly see above the cake, 
but I'm trying my best to keep it symmetrical. For the cake carving, I recommend a cutting board. Due to other projects I was working on, mine were unavailable. Make sure to save the corners because they'll become wings. And that's exactly why we wanted those sharp edges. Towards the tip of the cake, I round out the edges to give it more of a rocket ship effect. As I'm shaving down the edges, I try to be conservative because you can't add cake back. Please be super careful when you're cake carving. I try out a number of different knives to see if I have one that I like the best, but really I think it's a matter of preference because they all worked great. So if they look more aerodynamic, I round out the tops of the wings. Then I crumb coat. Locking in the crumbs helps keep the cake looking pretty. Now that I've gotten the body to exactly where I'd like it to be, I crumb coat this and put the wings and the body in the fridge for about 15 minutes to firm the buttercream. The crumb coat is just a thin layer of buttercream that's locking in those crumbs. Then, when I remove the cake from the fridge, I start to frost it. Now, it's time to place the cake on the serving surface. My plan was to place the rocket ship towards the bottom half of the cake so that I can place happy birthday towards the top half of the baking sheet. So I've added the wings to the cake and now it can take off. For this video, I attempted putting a baking sheet on the turntable to decorate. So would I try this technique again? Probably only for sheet cakes, but it was worth a try. Like this experiment could have gone so bad. I'm frosting the body with white buttercream. This zigzag motion makes it a little easier to smooth out the frosting. There is no method to the madness of zigzagging. As you can see here, I'm not frosting the top third of the cake because I'm going to make that a green color later. You might be wondering, is this a lot of buttercream? As we're smoothing the cake, some of the buttercream comes off. Now refrigerate for 15 minutes so the frosting can firm. This motion makes it a little easier to smooth out the frosting. So after I smooth out that white edge, I do that zigzag motion with the green buttercream on the tip. Smooth it out. So you see it coming together. I'm using purple, green, and white to give it that Toy Story Buzz Lightyear vibe. Cool, right? Refrigerate for 20 minutes. Have a little patience around those curves using that angled spatula. Then, between an angled spatula and a cake scraper, I smooth everything out. I don't have any acetate on hand, but you can use that just as easily to get those curves. I do a little cleanup before we get to part three, the finishing touches. I use a kitchen-only ruler to find my center. If you're making a fondant cake the day before a party, it hardens, so candy can be a great alternative. I love the idea of using candy to accent the cake. These purple candies are six slits. I put yellow Skittles on the wings as lights. This part's a little easier to see than explain. I put the first cookie cutter on the cake to make an outline. Then I put a small cookie cutter in the center and fill it with white. This will be the reflective part of the window. In that same spot as before, I put that large cookie cutter back. I line it with parchment paper and start spooning in some of that second color to make the rim of the window. In my bunny palmier video a couple weeks back, I show how to custom color sanding sugar. For a little more embellishing, I add some star sprinkles. These tweezers are food only tweezers. That's important. On the back of the wing, I add a strip of candy as an accent. To represent the rockets, I add these little mini cupcake liners in purple to coordinate with the cake. I use three and try to just space them evenly. They adhere directly to the cake with no additional buttercream. 
WOMG, Baking and Decorating Success. A Buzz Lightyear Surprise Inside Galaxy Space Birthday Cake. Here is a game you can play. Find the star, get a prize, and that prize is a cake. I hope you love this surprise inside planet cake that was inspired by Toy Story and Buzz Lightyear. Like, share, and subscribe if this was helpful at all. Coming up is a surprise inside playlist. Making the world a bit sweeter. Less rules, more <laughs> oh, I could say that. <laughs> Less rules, more colors. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. Bye.